Welcome back to Good Day State Line. We are hungry, so we had to find something delicious to eat here in Oregon, and we are at Hector's Cocina with Michelle, the owner. Yeah. I love having additional Michelles on the show. Thank you. It's always a <laughs> fun name, isn't it? I know. So thank you for joining me yes. uh, today. So tell me a little bit about Hector's. Sure. So we started about four years ago, um, and we weren't sure what we were doing. <laughs> um, my husband Hector is like, you know what? Let's get a restaurant going. And it's always been his dream. So we're like, okay, sure. You know, and things just kind of start falling into place and we're like, we're doing this. I love it. Um, so we opened and we've just been kind of building ever since, learning the business as we go. Um, one thing we've always said that we would stay true to is our helping enhance our community, um, giving youth uh, first opportunities for work. Awesome. And this is just a family-run business, <laughs> you know? I love it. So where did the recipes come from? So the recipes came from himself. Uh, Hector is very good at creating spices. Uh, like with seasonings and everything and what to mix with what. They came from his mom who actually does live in Mexico um, and then just passed down from families and generations. So we got nachos. Yes, these are our chicken nachos with guacamole and salsa verde. Um, the chicken nachos, uh, we do make our chips homemade here. So there are homemade chips, have uh, beans on there, our chicken, lettuce, sour this is cream. This staring at me. You know, <laughs> obviously we got to set up the shot yes. when we start recording mm -hmm. and I'm like, nachos, yes. I need you. So I'm just going to dive in Sure. keep talking. Yes, um, our beans, uh, we do make everything from scratch here. So our beans do take about six hours to cook. That's a long time. And then our chicken, we, co days, I know. we cook it for <laughs> four hours, our chicken. So it's nice, tender, falls apart in there. You do a lot of things by hand. Yes, we do. What time do you get here? Uh, we get here earlier in the morning, most definitely. Um, we use a lot of fresh produce, so. <laughs> Nachos could be a little messy. Oh, no, no. Well, so. I mean, maybe I should have <laughs> but, moved it closer. Yes. So our tacos. Um, these are our steak tacos and our pork tacos. Um, pork is not quite um, the El Pastor style, but it is very similar to it. We use the wajillo sauce with mm -hmm. it. Um, also, we hand cut all of our meat. So, yeah. And then what do we have over here? So over here are our flautas. Um, the, we do, um, our flautas are a little different. Uh, one thing about us, we like to put a little twist on food. Okay. So um, our flautas, just we do a little Mexican style potato inside. If you what? want, yes. And then if you want to add a meat topping choice to it, you could. We like to have vegetarian options also. So yeah, those are our flautas. Okay, well I'm going to try one of these. Let's hope <laughs> it goes a little better than when I tried the nachos. It probably should because it's compact. Yes. Alright, So what, and what am I drinking too? You are drinking horchata. We do make our horchata too. Yes. It's so good. Thank you. <laughs> it almost tastes sweet. It Does it? The potato. Yes. It's so good. It's so mm -hmm. this, is, this is delicious. I'll be saving this for later. Thank you. But yes, you are drinking horchata. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of described as like the milk at the bottom of cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> Which is in there. So. Mm -hmm. um, you have tacos. Like you can get a taco like Michelle style. Yes. I saw that when I walked in. Obviously, mm -hmm. it just stuck out of me. What does yes. that mean? So we're very family oriented. We, our son is going to be a freshman in high school. When we started this, he was just beginning his fifth grade year. Um, you'll see him actually working in the restaurant now. <laughs> um, so what we have is we have a Hector style, uh, which is cilantro onions. We have a Michelle style, which is lettuce, cheese, tomato, onions, and sour cream. And then we have an Evan style, which is both of us together. Oh, that is so, so cute. We just kind of tied it to us, yeah. I love it, but I don't like cilantro, so I'm all about the Michelle I style. Know. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's yeah. me? Oh, wait, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. And it's also fun. It's a fun twist in it because we have a food trailer also. So when we do our festivals and events um, and we have like a Hector, someone comes up, oh, I want a Hector, I want Michelle, I want Evan. Yeah. We always like do a little tally because whoever has the most does not have to wash dishes at the end. That is so, so, <laughs> so we like fun. to make it fun. You guys are so fun and you're also connected to the community. Um, tell me mm -hmm. a little bit about Bike Ogle. Yes, so Bike Ogle is a local organization um, that pretty much bikes Ogle County roads. They 
go to Ogo County all over. They start and stop from the historic Conover Square Mall, which is where we're located in, um, right out in front of Hector's, on the side of Hector's. So cool. Yes. So you definitely want to stop by Hector's when yes. you come to Oregon. I need to eat all of this. We Thank obviously you. <laughs> have to go to break. Uh, coming up next, though, we're going to visit Merlin's Greenhouse and Flowers on Good Day State Life.